Hey, this is Jerry from Blizz Studio, and in this particular tutorial, we're going to continue with our 2D games. So what are we going to be doing in this one? We are going to cover parallax backgrounds, and it's super easy. So if you're ready to get started, let's go. All right, so here we're back in Unity, and I want to go ahead and set up parallax for my background. Okay, so I'm going to show you my layout real quick. I have background, which is the very background sky. Then I have the moon. And those two things we want to actually be static within our scene. Then I also have a far background, which is the very far trees. I've got a mid background, which is the closer set of trees and then the ground that the zombie moves in. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just duplicate these out so that I can have a full level. OK, so I'm going to do that and then I'll be back in just a sec. All right, so we have that set up. Let's go ahead and set up our Playmaker FSM. So in my game manager, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new empty game object. I'm gonna call this Parallax. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy that name because I like to name the Playmaker FSM as being the same name. So let's go ahead and create a new FSM and I'll call the state as Parallax and I'll also call the FSM as Parallax as well. In the, the zombie movement, I have the movement being called player speed and that's a global variable. And so what we want to do is have the background move at a portion of the speed or faster than what the zombies moving. So what we want to do is do a float operator. So I'm going to use a float operator. This is a way for us to do math on floats. And I have my player speed as a global variable. So we're going to use that. I want to do some calculations. So we want the background to move very little compared to the speed of the player. And then as we get closer, we want to move the background faster and faster. OK, so how we're going to do that, we're going to multiply. So we take the player speed. If the player speed is one, if we multiply that point times 0.9, then that's going to give us a speed of 0.9. So it's a fraction faster than the character. So we're going to do a multiple multiply by 0.9. Then in the operation, we want to do a multiply Then we need to. We're doing this math and we need to save it. So we're going to go ahead and do a new variable. And we'll call this far background. Cool. So now we're saving that. And we want to make sure we set this up every frame. So here's the calculation. Now we need to go ahead and use that calculation to move that far background. We're going to do that with a translate 2D. So first, let's go ahead and just move this underneath our calculation because we have to do the calculation first and then the translate. So let's go ahead and first specify the game object. We want to use our parallax far. And it's saying that game object needs a rigid body. If you want to use a translate, that's fine. So we're going to go into our parallax. We don't want this to fall off the screen, so we do not want to use gravity. So I'm going to take gravity to zero. And then I need to update the X value with the calculation that we have right above, which is our far background calculation. And we're going to make sure that we have per second and every frame updated. So we can see that our background is moving and our player is moving, but our camera is not moving. We can use this same thing for all of the options that we have in our background. So let's do this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and just do a translate position 2D. We're going to do this for the background. We're also going to do it for the camera. And there's a lot of different ways that we can handle the camera, but I'm going to go ahead and just handle it this way in this because it's very, very simple. And we want to update this with the player speed. I want to set the gravity scale to zero. Go back to our parallax and we need to do the same thing with the other objects that we don't want to move. So let's go ahead and do those real quick. So we're going to do the same thing with our moon at a rigid body. I'm going to do the same thing here with the background rigid body. And then let's go turn those to zero as the scale gravity scale. Cool. So we now have that set up. So let's give that a test real quick. OK, so those are working and we can actually see that the very far background is moving a little bit in relation to the player. So that's all set up, but our mid and near is not moving the way we want it to. So we need to set that up as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy these first two actions, our far background calculation and the position 2D. So let's go ahead and paste that. And then we want to go ahead and set up a the mid ground to be just a little bit faster. So instead of 0.9, let's say maybe 0.7. And we'll go ahead and save this as a new variable. So we'll call this mid background. And then I'm going to update the 
parallax mid. Again, we need to add a rigid body 2D. And we're gonna go ahead and set the gravity scale to zero. And we wanna update that with our mid background calculation. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the ground, the foreground. So let's go ahead and we're gonna do maybe 0.5 as the speed. We're gonna do multiply. We need to save that as a new variable. So we're gonna just call this ground. And then I need to translate position of the ground, add a rigid body 2D, gravity scale to zero. And then we need to change the X axis to the ground. And now we should be all set up. So let's go ahead and give this a final test. Now you can see that the foreground moves a little bit faster. The mid ground moves a little bit slower. The far ground moves very, very slow. And then the very background and the moon stay at the same pace as the character. So there you go. It's very simple parallax for your 2D game. Hey, another great tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this one. It was super easy. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.